Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my quick thoughts on a new fragrance from the house of Le Labo. We have Te Matcha 26. So I have been looking forward to trying this perfume. I absolutely adore matcha perfumes. Well, I love tea scents, but matcha in particular is something that I just find so so nice so, so nice to wear as a perfume and also to drink so i recently got um, a matcha perfume um, this is one of my favorites it's a replica matcha meditation and um this is a new one in my collection i absolutely adore it so i was hoping that this would be you know just as good if not better uh, it is a lot more expensive than the replica version. Um, but sadly, uh, from what I have tested, I just have a small sample of it here. It's just a 0.75 mil little vial here. <laughs> so, you know, it's not a lot to test with, but I, at least I can form, you know, an early opinion about it, I guess. So Te Matcha 26 has notes of fig, vetiver, bitter orange, matcha tea, and cedar. I'll say right away that I just have the opening here. I'll say right away that the matcha tea in here isn't very obvious. Like if you didn't tell me, or if I didn't know that the scent was called uh, Te Matcha, then I probably wouldn't have guessed that there was, that this was a matcha tea perfume. Um, so I'll let me smell the opening here first. So what I get in the opening is a citrusy, smoky tea scent. And also I get this really strange, kind of like a rubbery note um, that gives off a little bit of smokiness. And sometimes, like for example, Lapsang Souchong tea, that's a very strong um, smoky black tea, which I like very much. But it just wasn't what I was expecting at all. I was expecting to smell, you know, natural, uh, realistic matcha green tea powder. Um, or, you know, already brewed as a tea, but I didn't get that in here at all. This is a strange, unique smelling smoky citrus tea in the opening. And then soon after the opening in the mid, what I'm left with is a creamy fig note here, a creamy milky fig. And I also pick up on some other mixed fruits um, the dominant one here is bitter orange, but for me, I get a mix of different fruits. Um, and also, I get this really nice woody note in here. Uh, the woody note actually reminds me a lot of what I remember Santal 33 to smell like. So think of Santal 33 as if it was a flanker and they made it like into a most mostly dominant fig perfume. So figgy, woody, creamy, milky, fruity, sweet. Um, still no matcha, matcha tea in the mid for me at least. And then in the dry down of Te Matcha, um, I get this really nice a soft vetiver, a soft, buttery, creamy vetiver, which is really nice. Still no matcha, unfortunately, <laughs> um, but it's still a nice scent. I think that um, if you don't have high expectations for like a real realistic smelling uh, matcha green tea scent, then I think most people would, would find this pleasant enough. Um, but if you're looking for a very obvious matcha tea perfume, um, like this one is for me, or also Tea Escape by the same house, which I also own, which is now discontinued, um, then you probably, with this one, you might be disappointed. <laughs> um, this one, just for me, basically smells like a citrusy, smoky, kind of gourmand scent. It's woody, it's creamy, figgy, milky. <laughs> 
uh, a little bit of soapiness in here throughout the entire perfume. Um, it's clean, you get some florals in here. There aren't any floral notes, but I, I do get like some floral like nuance in the background here. So another thing about the scent uh, with Performance is that it's a very light scent. This is definitely for me a skin scent, but a skin scent that lasts for the entire day. So, you know, I only had a little bit to test with from this small sample vial, but when I did wear it, um, it sat very close to the skin. I could smell it if I, you know, smell it like this, but then I could smell it for the entire day, which is kind of nice. Um, it is a very soft, calming and relaxing kind of scent. Um, an intimate scent, I think, that um, only you can smell, or if someone really comes close to you, they can smell it too. Um, but it isn't one, from what I can tell from the little sample that I have, that really jumps out or projects a lot. So I do like the scent. I think it's a pleasant smelling scent, mostly woody, mostly figgy, creamy kind of thing. Um, not so much matcha for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think when it comes to matcha, I think I'll stick to this one, the matcha meditation and also tea escape from this house. Those are ones that are more literal. It's more liter literal interpretation of matcha green tea uh, than this one is in my opinion. So those were my quick thoughts on Tay Matcha 26 from the house of Le Labo. It's going to be a pass for me probably. Um, but yes, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.